If you are low on staff and low on resources and still need to get all the work done that you typically have to for your nonprofit fundraiser, I have some tips for you. So there are things that you could do while you're setting up your event and executing it just set so that you're more efficient and you could use a lot less human resources. So I'm going to share five tips with you today. So the first one, tip number one is use a tool for registration. Get your guests to register and also fill in the names of their guests so that you're better prepared. Uh, make sure this tool can send out reminders and also put in a calendar invite so that uh, you could automate all that part of your work. Tip number two is get the guests to self check in at events. So uh, your tool could send out tickets to them uh, or ticket uh, reminders so that they could use that to check in themselves. Uh, and then once they do that, have paddles ready with their names on it so that they could pick it up at check-in. So then you'll eliminate one more person or a few more at the time of check-in. Third tip is have a QR code on auction items. So instead of just listing out, uh, you know, your auction items on sheets with the tables so that they have to manually fill it in and then you have to collect it and then feed it into the system, takes a lot of time. So instead, have technology handle that for you. You could have a bit sheet which has a QR code on it. All donors know how to use QR codes now. They could just turn on their phone, point to it, and then place their bid. And then there are tools now that will calculate for you who the winner is when you close your auction. So that's another place where you could save on resources. Tip number four. Capture pledges in real time. Uh, the old way of capturing pledges is write it all out on paper and then uh, you go create little carts, uh, if you'd like to call them, where you list out how much pledge each donor has made. That is just not efficient. Uh, have a live clerking system so that pledges can be entered in real time as they're called out and it goes into their cards and it's ready to go when it's time for checkout. Tip number five is give the ability to your donors to self checkout. Again, donors are becoming a lot more tech savvy and give them a way to check out. So one example is put a QR code on your paddle itself so guests can just point to it with their own phones and then pay with their credit cards or Apple Pay or Android Pay, anything else that they'd prefer and they can get done right there so that they don't have to wait for you, for your volunteers to just hand a card and make the donation payment. Anyway, these are my five tips on how to make, uh, how to do more with a lot less resources. Hope you found it useful. Bye-bye.